Giovanni! Wow! Oh, man! I cannot remember the last time a car, or indeed any sort of thing, gave me a fizz like the Ferrari, the Ferrari. This has 950 horsepower, 950. More than either of the other two, and it's lighter. It weighs 1,250 kilograms. Which is less than most hatchbacks. Actually, there is a bit more to the Ferrari, the Ferrari, because what it has is, in effect, a Formula One curse system. It constantly recovers energy that would otherwise be lost using its electric motor and its battery. So as I brake there, the car is actually saying, that energy, I'll have that. Straight. This is what 950 horsepower feels like. Two hundred and eighteen mile an hour Bugatti EB one ten Super Sports. Both these cars were conceived in the eighties when Gordon Gecko was running a mock and the world was awash with money. Today, though, twenty five years later, there are only three cars in current production that are faster than this. However, while there is a lot of performance, the way it's delivered is quite old-fashioned. You put your foot down, and then you wait while the turbochargers spool up. It takes quite a while, because there are four of them. Talk among yourselves. However... When the three and a half litre V12 is finally getting all the food it needs, oh, all hell breaks loose. To the corner. Mild terror. The speed is hilarious. Terrifying. That's probably why they fitted it with this plastic sheeting rather than carpets, because they knew that one day you would soil yourself. It costs £1.8 million. Pounds, and it's called the Vulcan. Spectacular, isn't it? but not very practical. You'll be able to edit this out, won't you? I don't want people thinking I'm fat. When I got going, things didn't get much better. Even at slow speeds, it is quite loud in here, which is why I'm wearing this silly face microphone so you can hear what I'm on about. The noisiest part of this car, however, is not the engine. That's the brakes. They are quite... 
They are quite squeaky. Actually sounds like I'm stamping on a piglet. And things get worse when you put your foot down. I'm not going to say that it's like being attacked by a bear because it isn't. But it is like being in a room with a bear that's thinking of attacking you. And at the moment, I've turned the engine down on this knob here to its minimum setting. It's only producing 500 horsepower. So it's not really the speed that's scary. Oh, God. It's the noise and the harshness and the vibrations. So here we are, the grand old man of performance coming out one more time to defend his title against one of the young upstarts. Here's how it all pans out on paper. Bugatti Veyron, 0 to 60, 2.5 seconds, power to weight ratio, 523, brake horsepower per tonne. The 918, 0 to 60, 2.6 seconds, but a power to weight ratio of 535, brake horsepower per tonne. However, as we learned when we raced the 918 against the LaFerrari and the P1 in our first show, hard facts like that count for nothing. In the end, it's all down to this. Okay, launch control, race mode. Representing the future here. to the Augusta 109 and Gulfstream G6. It's called the Chiron, and there's no other way of saying this. It's the fastest car in the world. It's an eight-litre monster with 16 cylinders and enough grunt to make kilometres feel like inches. fairly amazing, but this has out amazing it. Let me give you a few of the headline statistics. The Chiron accelerates from 0 to 186 miles an hour, faster than a Toyota hatchback, accelerates from 0 to 60. Flat out, this will drain its fuel tank, ready, in nine minutes. And to put that in a language the youth can understand, it's like drinking seven shot glasses full of petrol every second. The Chiron has ten radiators. That's more than I've got in my apartment. And then there's the water pump, which sends 200 gallons of water a minute round the engine. That could brim a bath in 12 seconds. Firemen use less powerful pumps than that. It's not a cheap car to buy. In fact, it costs two and a half million pounds. And it's not cheap to run either. The tyres, for instance, cost 13,000 pounds. The stats just go on and on and on, but all you can ever think is, bloody hell, this thing's quick. <laughs> 